This video covers the controller's security settings, TIA portal project protection, as well as the management of certificates in the TIA portal. The security by default concept requires you to set more than one configuration in the security menu. To simplify the security configuration on the controller, the user is guided through a security wizard which assists them with the configuration after adding a new controller into the TIA portal. Alternatively, these settings can be accessed via device properties. Firstly, the confidential PLC configuration data can be protected by setting up a password. This data for example includes information about the private keys used in the controller's certificate-based protocols. Thereafter, the communication between the controller and the programming device or HMI can be restricted to secure communication or be configured to support legacy communication with older versions of TIA portal or HMI systems. Lastly, the S7-1200 controller has several access levels to limit access to certain functions. Full access including failsafe means that the hardware configuration and the blocks can be read and modified by anyone. This is different from the normal full access level which still requires a password for failsafe functions. Read access only allows the reading of standard function blocks, as well as HMI application to standard and failsafe functions. The HMI access level only allows for HMI application access of variables. Lastly, the no access or complete protection level restricts all read, write or HMI access with a password. In this example, we select the read access level for the PLC, and then set up one optional password for full access, and one mandatory password for the failsafe access. On top of controller security, the TIA portal project also has several protection and security settings. To fully enable project protection and access additional security settings, go to the security settings folder of the TIA portal project, go to project protection, and click on the protect this project button to create a project administrator account. You will be prompted to specify a username and password. Password complexity, reuse and aging policies can be specified under password policies. Additional global security features and user roles will then be listed as a password protected area under the security features folder. These settings include the central certificate management, firewall management, virtual private network or VPN groups, the secure setup of network time protocol and radius servers, as well as system log files. Furthermore, additional engineering roles will be available under users and roles. Each role defines a collection of specific actions for which the role will have the permissions to execute. To open and modify the roles, go to the roles tab. You can then add a new role or edit the predefined roles by assigning the engineering and runtime rights in the bottom panel. In this example, we create a new role and assign only the read-only rights for this project. In the Users tab, you can specify the users of the TIA portal project and assign the required roles that were earlier defined to these users. This prevents unwanted access and modifications to the project by unauthorized engineering personnel. Here, we create new project users, one with the standard engineering role, and one with the read-only operator role that was defined earlier. Let's now try opening the project as a non-administrator user. For example, if we now open the project as an operator, the blocks will only have read-only access. However, reopening the project as administrator allows us to view and edit the blocks once again. In addition to the user security for the project itself, the programming blocks in the TIA portal project can also be protected. There are three types of protection, know-how protection, write protection, as well as copy protection. 
Write protection prevents unwanted edits to the programming blocks. In this example, we go to the properties of the main organization block. Define a password for the write protection. And then click on the write protection checkbox. When reopening the main OB, a yellow ribbon will now appear, prompting that the block can only be read because it is write protected. Know how protection goes further to completely prevent the viewing of the block's code without a password. Again, we select the main OB, and click on the protection button under Know How Protection to set up a password. When opening the main OB this time, the access protection pop-up will appear. If no password is input by pressing cancel, the block will be opened, but only the block interface can be viewed. Copy protection prevents unwanted copying or theft of programming code. This is achieved by binding program blocks to the hardware serial numbers of either the controller CPU or the somatic memory card if applicable. The type of binding, such as binding to the memory card or to the CPU, can be selected under copy protection. The serial number can then either be inserted when downloading to the physical device or memory card. Or in manually typed in. We now move on to certificate management. The global certification manager in TIA portal contains all certificates of the devices used in the project. In addition, two certification authorities are provided. The certification authorities or CA are used to generate device certificates. All device certificates are listed here and can be used for secure OOC, CPU OPC server, web server communications, and so on. To add a new certificate, simply right-click anywhere in the window, and then select Create or Import. If creating a new certificate, the Certificate Creation dialog will appear. You will then be asked to specify how the certificate is signed, the certificate name, and the certificate parameters. Lastly, with the trusted certificates and root certificates, the certificates of the remote systems can be securely verified. In conclusion, the S7-1200 controllers and the TIA portal offer a wide range of protection and cybersecurity features, such as controller protection, TIA portal project protection, and certificate management. This prevents unauthorized manipulation of plant data, unauthorized access or hacking, communication integrity as well as know-how drain from PLC programs.